What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the blood money update, just kind of overall, kind of my thoughts on it. And before I really get into it, uh, I want to let everybody know, and most of you probably do if you watch the channel a good bit, I wasn't really expecting a lot from this update. I wasn't getting excited about it. I wasn't like getting myself hyped up about it, I guess. I was just kind of expecting the same old, same old when it comes to a Rockstar update for Red Dead Online, because as most of you know, I've not really been impressed with the amount of updates or the quality of updates from the most part uh, that we've received since Red Dead Online has been out. So I kind of just was expecting pretty much, like I said, some of the same old, same old stuff. Now, when it comes to the bl new Blood Money missions, um, they're, I mean, interesting to play, but they're kind of like, uh, I, I guess, just a glorified stranger mission. And once you've done them once, kind of like stranger missions, unless you're for someone that likes to go in and grind missions uh, every day, you're probably never going to run them again. Uh, the only problem with that is, of course, is the new currency, the Capitale, which I'm sure is a word that you have uh, come to love <laughs> as much as you hear it in game. But that is really the only way you're going to be able to receive it. And you don't receive it from completing the mission. You receive it from looting boxes, looting uh, bodies, looting chests, that kind of thing, while you're out doing some of this stuff. Now, you can find it out in the open world just from random you know, NPCs that you fight, maybe looting a house or something like that. But overall, it's pretty rare. It's, you don't find a lot of drops of that new currency. And of course, you need the Capitale to be able to do, uh, you know, the opportunity itself on, you know, normal hard or, you know, a more extreme kind of difficult uh, difficulty. So you got three difficulties there. And of course, each difficulty cost more of the new currency. Um, like I said, I don't know. It's, it's just going to depend if you're a person that likes to do missions. If you're someone that plays Red Dead Online and you just love doing missions day in and day out, maybe messing with a few of your roles, that kind of thing, uh, you might actually really enjoy it. If you're a person that does not like doing missions, you're probably going to be very disappointed. Uh, you're probably not going, not going to want to do them over and over. And then, of course, it's going to kind of leave you with pretty much the same thing you were doing before the update was released. And it's been a long time, as you all know, since we've had a really big update in game uh the new quick draw club pass I, I will say is probably the biggest highlight of the update in general to me i made a video talking about this yesterday if you have not seen it but i really like this new system i think the quick draw pass is great a great idea considering most of the passes we've had in the past uh last for months you can finish it within a week or two and then you're having to wait three or four months before a new outlaw passes out at least this way if you get it done quickly uh you're gonna have a new pass you know next month and you'll have a new pass the next month and the next month we're gonna have four in a row so we're gonna be able to get four passes within you know about 30 days uh of each other so i, I think that's probably the the highlight i hope they continue with that kind of trend when it comes to the outlaw passes uh probably in my opinion the best part of it just overall uh there's been a lot of bugs of course that have come with this update surprise surprise um uh, there's been people reporting you know uh, not showing the right payouts. All of us have been seeing that, you know, uh, you're not showing the right payouts in your moonshine missions, your trader role, that kind of thing. It's not been nerfed. And a lot of people think that this has been nerfed, but if you go actually do a long distance delivery or you actually go do a, a moonshine run, you make the right amount of currency once you complete it. But just the price for the payout for a lot of things in game are showing bugged uh, for a lot of people. So don't think you're alone on that one. Also, there's been some old issues kind of that have kind of shown back up. Now, there was a lot of patch notes there. There was a lot of fixes. Probably not enough fixes, honestly, considering it's been so long since we've had an update. But the animal spawns and the NPC spawns have been an issue for people over the last few days. A lot of people have been reporting certain servers they're in. There's no animal spawning, no legendary animal spawning, no players, uh, no NPC spawning. They'll just see, you know, horse and buggies going down the, uh, the down the road with no players in them. Uh, some towns are just ghost towns. There's no NPC spawning whatsoever. And so it's causing some issues. Now, that is not necessarily the case, like a widespread problem on every single platform, but it is seem it is seem to be it does seem to be, I guess I would say, a issue for some cer certain servers you're in. So a lot of people are reporting if they change the server that they're not really having the problem at. You know, after they change servers, you might want to try that if you are having these issues. But I was in a server uh yesterday afternoon that was kind of like that there was just no animals around whatsoever as soon as i changed servers everything was back to normal so hopefully it's not going to be as bad as it was in the past where you know npcs and animals were just pretty much non-existent for a really long time but overall i, th I think the blood money update has potential uh i think if we can continue to get good quality opportunities and good quality blood money missions 
in the upcoming weeks with the Newswire every Tuesday. That would be probably a little bit better if they add more and more stuff over the next month or so. But if it's going to be something that's going to take a long time for us to get more and more of these missions, more and more of the robberies and, and things that people really were hoping for, like the heist and GTA and that kind of thing, if it takes a really long time, I think we're going to kind of be back to where we were, where most players are not really playing anymore. Uh, most players are just waiting for the next, well, I'm going to put quotations for that big update. And like I said, I don't really ever expect much when it comes to Red Dead Online from Rockstar. It's just like it's kind of on the back burner. They do a little bit here and there, but it's not the greatest content majority of the time. Now, in saying all this, I still enjoy playing these missions and doing these things. because I don't mind doing missions in game, but I do understand that a lot of people out there will probably will be bored with it very, very quickly or just not really enjoy it whatsoever. Overall, decent, but not as great as I think a lot of people in the community were expecting. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.